the NFL. The NFL is now requiring people to wear face masks. The NFL is allowing Black Lives Matter decals on the helmets. It's, it's, it's all gone to crap. It's not necessarily about the NFL specifically for me. It's more about sports in general, how sports has been always something that united us. Always. It's always been something that united us. And now that has been ruined, absolutely ruined. Now, I'm not even looking forward to sports this year. How did that happen so quickly? Is that a social media thing? What, how'd that happen? Yeah, I think it, it's definitely social media combined with uh, a lot of players who just, we've seen this kind of 180 in not just sports, but you see celebrities and musicians, Hollywood, all the time. Whereas 10 years ago, it was taboo to talk about your political uh, thoughts, you know, your political leanings. They didn't talk about that back then. It slowly transitioned into, you have to talk about it in order to stay alive in that industry, in those industries. And not only do you have to talk about it, you have to agree with what the status quo is. And so I think that there are a lot of athletes who just, you know, they felt pressure uh, to talk about it. Anytime they're interviewed by the mainstream media, these are the questions that the mainstream media is asking. And instead of trying to, you know, avoid the question, they felt compelled to answer it a certain way so that they didn't receive backlash. And I think that that's what we're seeing. I, I think it's a really, really big shame to see uh, the NFL as a whole come together and promote something like this. I know last time I was with you, we discussed sports and I said, I don't think that the NFL is at its pendulum swing yet where they're going to start seeing people who are, have just had enough and are fed up. And now with their recent decision, uh, I'm not so sure about that. I, I think people are like you. I think the average American is like you and they're sick of hearing about it and they're sick of this. And this latest decision to display names on their helmets is just going to further the divide in America, but also further the, uh, the American people away from their beloved sports. Athletes and entertainers and whatnot, I agree with you about the pressure they feel. Let me ask you, how real is the pressure? And this is what I mean by that. Let's say you're a, 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 a basketball player and you don't agree with Black Lives Matter at all. You disagree with this whole thing, but you stay silent. I don't mean speaking out against them. You just stay silent and just shut up. Are you going to lose anything by just shutting your mouth? Do you lose endorsement money? Do you lose a, a deal with the team? Is that something that's real or is that just social media makes them feel like it's real? I think it depends on the situation. I do think oftentimes social media does make it seem like uh, the backlash is a lot stronger than it is. As we know, you know, in, throughout history, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? So the people who scream the loudest will get the most coverage, but that doesn't really translate into dollars lost. And so I do wish that a lot of times that, you know, uh, athletes maybe would be more properly trained to, instead of feeling forced to answer a question a certain way, they would just say, come on, I'm not into politics. I don't, I can't be answering those kinds of questions. Ask me about, you know, my, uh, the interceptions that I throw or, you know, something to just typical PR 101, something to transition from one question to the next without having to answer the question. I think if they did that, uh, I think it would be seen as very likable. And I think they could easily get away with not putting themselves in these positions. But I don't know. I mean, athletes have not been known to be the smartest bunch. So maybe that's it. I'm not sure. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.